Hey, how's it going? My name is Zach Calhoun. I am the co-founder of cloudpayment.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create custom virtual tours using AI tools like ChatGBT from OpenAI and our new custom inspector tool for adding CSS code or customizing CSS code on virtual tours. So if you don't know what a 3CC virtual tour is, essentially it's a 3D way to explore a space. So you're looking here, I have all these 360 photos. I can look up, I can look down. I have a full experience um, of this space and they're connected by hotspots. You can add information, embed, embed media. It's this really cool, amazing way to explore a space. And you can also have 360 spins and 2D stills and video, all types of really cool things you can do. But for now, I'm gonna show you how to use chat GPT, the open AI, open AI tool to write code for us and change or customize our virtual tours. So follow along me here as I show you some examples really quickly, and then you can, you can experiment with this, um, all day if you want, um, do some wild fun things. Okay. So typically whenever we edit a virtual tour, it's a no code solution, right? So we can click um, at, at, you know, connect hotspot, we can add info spots, we can customize the experience and how the thumbnails look for the viewer. And it's pretty quick and, and it's a fun way to make a really um, amazing experience. But what if I want to go a little bit deeper and customize some things? Well, um, if you were to click <clears throat> through your settings option and go to brand kit on the cloud panel editor, you'll see that there's a custom CSS and even a custom JavaScript section. So custom CSS is basically the style sheets, the style that it's the code behind the scenes that makes something look a certain way, with, whether it's font or the colors or the or how it's how it looks. Um, so it's super helpful to be able to edit this. Well, what I'm going to show you really quickly is that we can now because because with OpenAI's tool ChatGPT, we actually write code with it we can customize um, some, some things on Cloud Panel, which, which is a lot of fun. So if you haven't heard of ChatGPT or OpenAI, basically it is an AI tool that, with a chat interface that we can make requests to and it can output things via an AI computer. It's really, really cool. So in this case, we're gonna leverage the ability that it, it has to code for us. So we're gonna take the Zach Calhoun redneck language, make request, and have it spit out code and then paste, copy and paste that code in a cloud panel to make changes. So um, real quick, I'm gonna show you before I do this, what this current virtual tour looks like, okay? And there's a couple things um, that you need to know, like there's titles on every thumbnail or there's a certain, like there's my name up here that you can put your client's name or phone number, et cetera. And some of the stuff's not really editable because um, it looks good the way it is. But if you want to change it, you can. And I'm gonna show you how to do that and how to use um, some of these tools, okay? So even for a non-coder, just like me, who has no coding experience, you can do this. Let's check this out. Go to your brain kit, scroll down where it says custom CSS, and there's a new button that says inspect. Click that button. And now what this inspector tool does is it helps us identify blocks of code that we can copy and paste in the chat GPT, or you can, if you have a developer, you can send it to them so we can change stuff. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hover over these thumbnails here. Okay. If I click on this thumbnail, it says cloud Pino UI real scene title. Okay. Interesting. So I can copy this right here on my clipboard go over to chat GPT and say, I want to customize some CSS and hide this. And I'm going to just paste the code, click enter. It's going to say, certainly, okay. It's going to, create a block of code for you. In this case, very simple, display um, display none, it looks like, and it's gonna be some other, other options as well too. I'm just gonna take this, copy this code, go over to what I have highlighted and paste and click save. And look at that, every single title for every thumbnail is now hidden. Cool, well, that's really interesting, that's really neat. Well, what else can I do? Well, I got my inspector tool still on, so I can click on, say, this little description up here, select it. And every time I click on something, it will appear here in the custom CSS block. So I'm just going to copy this cloud pin UI description name, go back in the chat GPT and say, increase this text to 60 pixels. And I'm just going to paste it and click enter. 
real basic instructions anyways. Okay, so it'll give me font size, 60 pixels. All right, it's got it in the right format. Cool, I can even change the color if I want to apparently. So let's go here, copy this code. Just, I already have a highlight, so I'm just gonna paste here and click save. And look at there, my name is much bigger. Or you can put any text here, but this text can be much bigger now. Now watch out when you change stuff because it will affect how it looks on mobile. But that's pretty cool. So now I'm gonna click publish. And look at there, I got this really big name up here. So now we know that, that that's easy to edit. So I'm gonna actually show you guys real fast. If you don't know how to add on like a name or a phone number, email, it's right here. You just click on edit tour, this, this part of the tab. Tour property says Zach Calhoun. I'm gonna say um, is having a great day. Okay, just make a really long one to see how it looks. I'm gonna click publish. And look at that, all that text is right here. You can kind of see where, where it cuts off to, okay? Um, so then maybe I wouldn't put something you know that big, but that's kind of what the experimental ability is, right? I'm, I'm, I'm able to add bigger size stuff here, bigger titles, et cetera. And it's, it can be really nice for certain experiences, right? Now, I'm sure if I was to decrease the size, let's see, if I decrease the size of this, it's kind of how you would see how it looks on mobile, let's see. It kind of overtakes the whole experience and you got to be careful with that and it may not look so good so be be mindful of what you change but i kind of like how this has no titles here it looks kind of smooth it's like where am i i'm kind of exploring this space but look it's right here i want i could probably hide these or we can already we can already hide titles on hotspots so you can already do a lot of custom sizing or opacity or colors of hotspots or floor hotspots etc you can already do this with, with no code basically but if you wanted to do more things you can do that so you can now explore what it's like to change the colors of an, an, a border or to match like maybe the theme have a certain like theme colors or, or you can work alongside a developer as well too and say hey you know here's a couple blocks of code you know i'm trying to get this to be bigger etc you know what do you think um so play with it try it out test out stuff you can do whatever you want now design wise because we have this really cool inspector tool and you can use stuff like chat GBT to write the code for you. Now will it be perfect? Not always, of course not, but um, it's a lot of fun to, to try stuff. And um, now it's even easier if you just go to your brain kit and use the inspector tool and you can see where, what, what is what. So and a, a quick tip as well too, if you have inspect open, um, it kind of opens up preview on its own um so i would recommend doing that if, if in case you like you were to click out of it um or say you had a preview of been it's it's helpful to have to be able to see like what it looks like before you click on it you can change icon sizes move stuff around um you can get really weird with it okay <laughs> so just be mindful as you're playing with it but what's neat is that if you're a no code redneck like me you can go to places like ChatGPT, ask questions in a very basic way like say hey i'm trying to do this can you help me here's the code and they can just do it change colors to whatever color you want um which is really really cool so so try it out add shadows make things more transparent mess around with it make it fun and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys produce in the Facebook group for Cloud Piano and what you guys um, already are, are working on as well. So make sure to share your virtual tours there at the Virtual Tour Profit Facebook group. Um, but overall, thank you guys for being members of Cloud Piano. We're, we're happy to serve you and continue to make the product better, um, to see what you create, and to see you guys continually have amazing, profitable, and fun um, projects on the platform. Hope you have a great day. And of course, if you're not already, become a Cloud Piano Pro Plus member today. You might as well do it. Everyone's doing it and everyone's doing well. You might as well join the party. All right, I'll see you inside.